Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel, we are back with another showcase, this time we'll be playing the uh, most difficult or the most challenging match of the quarterfinals, in my opinion of course, and that is Lebanon taking on Australia. The differential between the two, it's, it's even more drastic than when we played as Ireland against the Kiwis. As you can see, this Mitch Moses led Lebanon is at a 60 overall. I believe the Irish were mid 60s to the uh, to the Kiwis mid 80s, but yeah, Australia they are at an 84 overall. They've got some interesting selections as well. These team lists taken from NRL.com midweek, so maybe this changes that have been made. But for now, this is the uh, quote unquote official teams as per nrl.com so jerseys haven't been updated unfortunately so we're rocking the 2017 rugby league world cup jerseys for lebanon uh, let's go ahead and rock the alternate strip ozzy donning the classic green and gold so weird seeing a massive ass sponsor slapped in the front but anyway let's get to the settings all right so the venue i must say it is nice to play in all these european stadiums or all these english stadiums Nice change of scenery. Ah, uh, but yeah, John Smith Stadium, NRL, difficulty, legend, seven minute halves, change the ball to the World Cup. Field markings, we can turn this off. We can also turn extra time off. I think there will be a golden point rule or maybe just uh, extra time. Should we turn major off? Cause we're bound to pick up a few injuries. These boys are really low rated. Nice stuff it we'll try and manage. Uh, everything else is good to go. Alrighty, let's get this show on the road. Alright, so let's take a look at these lineups real quick. Uh, like I was saying about Australia, they got a weird uh, lineup when it comes to the forward pack at least. In the back five, that's stock standard. They got Cherry Evans named in the seven. They've got Harry Grant starting at hooker. Isaiah Yeo is a wide running forward as opposed to playing at lock. They've got Cam Murray taking the 13. Uh, it's interesting to say the least. Even on the bench, they got Whiten, no Ben Hunt, and they've got Cleary on the bench as well with Cotter and Carrigan. As for Lebanon, there's a couple of current NRL players and former. You have your Mitch Moses, plenty of potential in Dwayhe and Karaz, The Source, Reese Robinson. I was pretty impressed with Lebanon's first outing. Uh, I'm, pretty sure, I'm pretty sure a lot of people were against the Kiwis. Impressed as well as entertained with the brand of footy they were playing. You know, it was exciting. It's kind of shades of PNG and their, uh, their exciting style of footy. You know, they're not the biggest packs, but you can bet they'll have a proper dig. I guess you can say that about a few of the minnows, but um, Lebanon, they've been up there as most improved for me. So the game plan heading into this, try and avoid the middle as much as possible and play on the edges. Kick early, plenty of kicking on the fourth in this. We'll take that, not a 40-20, but we find the line. And now we defend. Oh, what about all the chat about the number seven for Australia? My two cents on that. Um, I thought after Origin, DCE solidified his spots as the seven for Dow, for for the World Cup at least. I mean, you could probably say that at Origin level or rep level in general, DCE has the wood over. I mean, think Cleary. Oh, speaking of speaking of sevens, Mitch Moses. Give me that. Can we make him pay? I thought that was going forward. It typically does. Come on, set up. Give us the option. Too muddled here through the middle. Might actually stab it through the line. Try and find supports. As we head to Mitch. There's a little dab. There's the supports. We dive early. And we make it. I thought we were going to drop that for sure. That might be the move, actually. Dive early. Hit those edges, baby. Stay away from their middles. Otherwise, we will get sent to the Shadow Realm. Kazi at hooker. Gotta look for Mitchell Moses. Here he is. Bit of speed to get around one. And Dwayhe in support. That's what you want to see from the two. Mansoor looking to... That was... Yeah, mad. That was mad. I thought he was on his way out. We we're being dragged to the sideline. Oh, kill him. Thanks for the set play. Oh, Tedesco. Killing two birds with one stone. Breaks away from a couple more inside the 10. Will they take the two? Loving that logo. Of course they're not. It's Australia we're talking about here. If it goes to the skies, we're doomed. <laughs> if it goes on the toe, we should be sweet. Up it goes on the chase. Campbell Graham, too good in the air, but he can't get it down. I'll show you why. We'll use foresight here. We'll put it on strength and look at our middles. They are all red. 
That is why you won't be seeing many runner straight challenges from us. Bit of DNP action here. But do I he fails to draw in any defenders? Lucky to hold on to that. As we sneak a kick off downfield. And Tedesco will run it into touch. Thank you, Glitch. Should be on for the old switcheroony. It's actually been a minute. As we get it to Mokos. We find the source. There's another offload. And supporting Adam Dwayhe. We'll score our second try of the day. Come on, baby. That's what we'll love to see here from the Lebanon. Al Sakim. Oh, Dwayhe was through. What am I doing? A little too pass happy. Now we we give the Australians the golden tickets. Can we cheese them out? Make them take the two. Surely not. Yep. Of course they back themselves. That's our last get out of jail free card too for the half. Tell me why we're low-key defending better than within our out clubs that we play with typically. Oh camera monster. That's their drop down. We had no penalties to give away, no nothing. We just take it. That's probably the cleanest I've seen this animation. There's barely any uh, clipping going on here between the player models. We've got old Reese Lightning here. The original Reese Lightning. Man, he's still quick. Whoever made this model or this player got his speed on point. As Cherry Evans, we finally pull him down. Bit of a late scare after a nice little line break. We have to, we have to use him more often. Didn't realize he was that fast still. Our little strat of avoiding the middle is actually paying off for us. And the times we have hit the middle, we haven't been getting pumped. Like losing possession type of pumped. As Robinson gets tackled this time. Like I said, I do want to get him more involved. Karaz is pretty gassed. We might have to chuck him at fullback. Like look at Karaz right now. Running in sand, they give away a penalty. Bit of a real discipline here from the Aussies. It's essentially a no sidestep and no fend challenge as well, because uh, you can you can bet we won't be sidestepping or fending. As much as we spam that right analog, it is not going to get triggered, I can guarantee you that. Every run we take in the middle, I'm, I'm bloody wincing, because you just know a big hit's on the way. As we try to draw, oh man, we got him through again. Another clean line break. As we play out the back, I was about to dive early with Mitch Moses. It's worth risking it. Dwayhe, one more, pass the ball, Marcos. Man, we do be looking pretty clean off the Borsch movement here. Little grubber, grubber kick cheese. Oh man, that, that kick went half a centimeter forward. And we, <laughs> we threw that play. All that hard work for nothing. Do we cheese a drop goal next time we get down here? Imagine playing that ready. That Lebanon defense needs to take about 29 meters gained. This Australian pack on the ropes. Let's go source. Can we source some extra meters on the return? That is a negative. First, get it moving. They're kind of playing like this in real life. Like, real flamboyant, if you will. Ooh. Off the, off the head, I guess. The chest, maybe. Tassi Pale, first receiver. Kalachi. Oh, there's the big hits. We finally get Rock through the middle. What was that effort? I'm gonna keep him down. Will they take the two now? As they fire one out, that's Angus hitting the line hard, and he's gonna get that drop down try. I just realized we'll be playing real life five minute halves for extra time. That would take an age to get through. Unless we can snag a one pointer. Here's Robinson playing fullback. Karaz had no gas left in the tank. Kaziet hooker. Duwaihi. Great ball, Morkos straight through. Doesn't find the support behind him. I want to get in position. Bro, why? Oh, it works out. And he finds the source. That speed is something else from Robinson. I absolutely love to see it. Let's run it here. Let's look for Moses. Cut out ball to Leiden. As we look for Miski on the wing. That was touched. 
All right, it is time to cook, baby. First tackle, four minutes to go. Oh, lucky he held on to that. Moses, Moses, just torpedoes his way to the try line. We dive early and all. That could have been a stupid play if we didn't actually get over. He could have easily got that jolted loose. Look at that, the early dive. Full time, full time. This ends up being one of our best showcases, or one of our better ones. Lebanon, a 60 overall, beating the Kangaroos on legend. How good, look at the stats though. We made eight errors, gave away four penalties, and missed 10 tackles, and somehow still came away with the victory. The Kangaroos, zero missed tackles. A pretty hectic showcase. We'll be back with a couple more showcases before before the official matches take place. We'll either play as Samoa or Tonga, I'm undecided as of yet. But yeah, we'll wrap it up there for now. As always, if you enjoyed that, I would like to see more rugby league related content or more content in general. Be sure to sub to the channel and don't forget to run straight that like button. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you. you. Later.